Hi guys, this is the 3001 Black. Um, this is Salon Chair. Um, we're going to show you how to get this one assembled correctly. I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the box and we'll go ahead and get this started. Alright guys, this is all the pieces for your chair. What we have here is this is the seat portion. This is going to be the back portion. Um, the two arms here. The leg rest. And the actual foot rest that goes on the leg rest. This metal plate is going to go onto the bottom of the seat here. And this is the base, um, and this is the pump. So the pump's gonna connect to the base, and that's what we're gonna do first. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this, get this attached to the base, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, this is the pump here. Uh, the screws to connect the pump to the base here uh, are gonna be already in the bottom of the pump. We're just gonna unscrew these, put this in place, and then screw the screws up from the bottom up and we'll go ahead and show you that what that looks like here in a second. Yeah. Alright guys, this is what the base and the pump's going to look like put together here. Uh, go ahead and show you the bottom. The screws do go from the bottom. The best way to do that is just put it right here, set the base down, and screw it on. Get this flipped over. That's what it should look like right there. Um, something I did want to say, a very common mis uh, a mistake in the assembly of the pumps here. Um, it has to do with the foot pedal. You want to go in like this, right here, with the pump inside the pedal, I'm um, in the chrome lip pointing out. If you point it in from the wrong way, the incorrect way, if you put it in from this way, the pump's gonna pump up. It's gonna go backwards. So if that starts happening, you know. Very simple, easy fix. Just take the foot pedal out, put it in from the correct direction, and it'll work perfectly. Alright All right, guys, to tighten the foot pedal into place, there's screws already in the side here. Um, they're going to be little inverted screws. And all you do is just put your Allen wrench in here, tighten that down right there, and that'll securely fasten the foot rest into place. We're going to show you how to put together the seat portion and the metal plate that goes on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay. All right, guys, this is the seat portion. You can tell it's going to be the seat portion because it's going to have these eight screws going down the bottom. And this is the metal plate that goes on, on the bottom here. It's going to go right there where those eight screws are. You just unscrew these screws. We're going to place the plate in place and then re-screw them back in to fasten that securely onto here. Uh, you can see which one's the front uh, just because it'll have some pointing right there. It does matter because the foot rest is going to use these three bolts here. Uh, and uh, once we get that put together, we'll show you how to go from there. This is what. All right, guys, this is what's going to look like after you get the plate on here. Um, once this is in place, front, front, um, this is where the pump is going to sit right there on the seat. We're going to go ahead and get the back of the chair attached first, though, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys. All right, guys, here we go. This is what the seat's going to look like with the back put on there and the plate on. And once the plate's on, you can screw the back on right there just like that. It goes on the inside. It does not go on the inside of the plate here. It goes on the outside right there. And you set it on the pump right here. You're going to have a little slot right here. And you're going to have a pin right here on the pump. Now, not all pins will come with this pump, but you will see the hole for it to come with. Um, you don't really need the pin there. It's just more of a guide. You just set the chair right down on there like that. Um, and the pressure right there is going to create a seal. Um, and that's why it's going to keep it on there. There are no actual screws to attach this chair to the pump. The right there, the weight, the pressure is going to keep it on there. Good. All right, guys, to attach the arms, you're going to locate the screws that are already going to come pre-drilled into the back portion and the seat portion on each side. I mean, you see one here and one here. And on the other side, same thing, one here, one here. But kind of like on the bottom, we're just going to unscrew these from the chair. And then we're going to put the arm into place, and then we're going to re-screw them back in. All right, guys, we've got the arms in place now. Like I said, we just unscrewed them, put the arms in place, and then screw the screws back in place. Get the arms secure and fastened there. Uh, all right, in the bag of parts here, you're going to have these little black caps. You can go ahead and put these over here. Covers up those screw holes, make it look all nice and pretty. 
All right, guys, and last thing we need to do here to get our salon chair up and running is we're going to get this footrest right here connected to the actual footrest piece. And then this is going to go bolted right underneath here where those three screws were what I showed you earlier. All right, we're going to unscrew those. Simply screw that into place. Then we'll unscrew these bolts and screw these into place on there. We'll show you what that looks like here in a second. All right, guys, when done correctly, correctly assembled, this is what you're going to get. And nice, beautiful salon chair here. Well, goes up. Just a little bit of pressure, and it'll go back down here. Sit in once or twice, it'll really seal that onto the pump, the base in the pump. And you got yourself a nice salon chair here.